Hi everyone, my name is Josh, and this is version 1.1.4 of the GP Overlay app, and this is a really quick tutorial on how to get started. And if you don't know what GP Overlay allows you to do, it allows you to create a customized gamepad when streaming PC games onto your phone using something like Parsec or Moonlight. And in the future, it would allow you to connect and control your games over Bluetooth. But um, that's coming in the future. So in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, make a really quick Minecraft gamepad. So uh, I don't really like this color. I'm going to swipe over it, go to Colorize, click on Ocean Waves, and go back to Create. I like this theme a little bit better. Now we're going to make create our first button. We click on more and then a button and then we can go ahead and scale it up using the pinch gesture like this. Now uh, I'm going to put it, position that there and this is going to be our space button because of course we need to jump. So when doing action keys like this, type in the word space. If you want to do tab, type in tab. Don't press the tab button or, or space button. Escape, type in escape, right? And when we click and hold, uh, it brings up this menu, and we can go ahead and type in space there. Next, we're going to need a press and hold again. We're going to need a shift key because I don't want to run off the cliff. But with the shift key, I don't actually want to have to keep holding it because that can get a little you know, um, hard to do. So what you can do is shake it once, and then we get... A sticky button and sticky button works a lot like the caps lock you click it once it's it stays clicked and then you click it again to release it so that should be pretty cool next we're gonna make the new added feature the scroll button and this button is made a little bit differently from most other special buttons so first we have a button we shake it shake it again okay now we have a thing called a cycle button we're not gonna use it this time and then make another button, shake it once, shake it twice, shake it three times. And then we have a joy button. And when we combine these buttons, boom, now we have created a scroll button. And this button allows you to precisely click on what um, keybind you want to use by scrolling left and right and this is perfect for Minecraft because we have that nine hot bar nine item hot bar and we want to be very precise in what we're clicking so that is how you do it and the way you set these um, <clears throat> these keybinds is simply by typing it in and putting a colon in between just like that boom and now we're going to make one more type of button. It's going to be called the joy button. Just like that. And then this button allows uh, kind of like emulation of a joystick. So when you go up, it, it goes up. And then when you go down, and then all in between. So this is going to translate to our WASD keys. W A S just like that and I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna change the setting really quick if you go over and then click on app settings you can actually turn on and off joystick merging and what that allows us to do is not only when you go up on the joystick is it W but you can also do up to the left and then it will send both W and A at the same time so we're gonna save that and go back here now that is something I really quickly said. I said that you can, it sends two buttons at once. And this goes into the AND modifier. The AND modifier allows you to click more than one button at once, not just two, but in theory, the entire keyboard at once. So we're going to actually make a button for that because we're going to be doing something very special. You know when you're playing Minecraft and you want to jump and place a button under you, well, now you can do that in a single button click. So the way you do that is space and I, because that's what I set, or J. That's what I set on my um, computer to be my left click in Minecraft. So as you can see, it's kind of cut off in the button, but in the top right, you can actually see it completely. So this looks very promising. Let's go ahead and try it out. So click on create. You're going to have to turn on a few things. Turn it all on for GP overlay. So it can go ahead and work. And we're going to go into Parsec. 
And then um, if you know how to use Parsec, great. Um, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to use Parsec. And then we just click on connect so we can actually use Minecraft. And as you can see, this is Minecraft Java Edition. And uh, let me just reset it. Everything works perfectly. It's just a little laggy because my internet is kind of not good right now. So yes, this is Minecraft. And I am going to get that TNT. Boom. And then place it under me like this. And as you can see, I'm only clicking one button, but it allows me to jump and click at a single button click. Just like that. And everything else works the way you would imagine. WASD, as you can see, it works the way you want it to work. Yes. Um, so, uh, shift works also the way you would imagine it would as well. Um, this works. I want to get my sword. So we go to one, boom, sword. And then we can attack if I went ahead and set that up. Um, but I want to show you something extra cool. So we're going to go ahead and destroy that by clicking and holding. Go back to Gboard. Come over here. Go back to GP Overlay. And now we can start editing again. It's just that simple. We're going to get rid of this space in J and turn the sticky button into space in J. What would this allow you to do? This would allow you to insta click and jump at the same time. So save and create. GP overlay, go back to parsec. Oh, I'm running out of battery. Okay. Um, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and face down, move maybe here. And then I'm just going to press it once. Oh, I have my um, sword clicked. Let's go ahead and get that, the um, uh, TNT. There we go. So now it should work. And as you can see, I'm not holding it down. My, my camera's right here, right? But it's still allowing me to jump and press down. This has a bunch of features, maybe auto building, auto mining, all types of stuff because it doesn't just work with two buttons. It can work with three. So imagine you could be walking forward, mining, and then, I don't know, placing down water or something. I don't really know. Um, so that you can actually uh, get rid of lava. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, that works. And the possibilities for that are quite endless. So now I'm all the way up here and didn't have to do anything really. I just click on the button. Now I'm high above the clouds. And of course, we can modify it so that we um, can mine it as well. So uh, another question you may be having is, what is that red bar? Well, that bar signifies where you can and cannot, well, where it will, it will and will not recognize touch. So outside the red bar, it can recognize touch. But as soon as you start trying to touch everything inside the red bar, the um, mouse and everything won't work. So it's for buttons only. And this is for no buttons. And, of course, you can change the opacity in the settings. But, yeah, it's automatically defined by where you place your buttons. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Pressing and holding. Uh, go back to GP Overlay. And, yes, that is the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed.